What's up guys? Good morning. Hope everybody's doing really well today. Wanted to reach out and talk to you guys. Last night was the first time in I'd say about a week where I actually got to sleep seven hours. Now you guys know that I love when I sleep, I sleep at least eight hours. I try my best. Try my best to sleep eight hours because it allows me, my body to, uh, you know, run optimally for the most part. I feel like I have enough energy to do my walks. I feel like I have enough energy to do my work, enough energy, energy to do my bodybuilding, all that stuff. And you guys know that in the weight loss mini series on this channel, I've spoken to you guys about how if you want the best weight loss and bodybuilding results, you need to sleep. You have to recover. And guys, I've been suffering over the last week because I've been getting about like four or three hours at night and it's just not optimal at all, not even close. Last night was the first time I got a little bit of sleep and you know, to the point where I actually felt like I was able to make a video for you guys and talk to you about the fact that one, sleep is important. Two, I wanted to talk to you guys about the fact that a move like what I've just been through and am still going through because I'm, I'm not done yet as far as setting my new place up um, can affect your uh, can completely affect your uh, eating schedule eating habits exercise routine and I wanted to talk to you guys about how it's affected mine because it has so sleep as I just mentioned very very important if you don't have enough sleep you're not gonna have enough energy right if you don't have enough sleep and you don't have enough energy, if you're like me, you have to force yourself to say, Joe, no training. Don't train. If you have time to train, for example, I've had the handy gym, right? I've, I'm able to take walks, right? When I have a little bit of extra time, I had to tell myself, no, don't do that because you need to conserve your energy. You don't, you're not running efficiently. It's, it's like running a machine without oil, right? You're gonna end up burning up the engine. So you don't want to run your body into the ground and overtrain essentially. Essentially you're overtraining. If you have no energy um, and you're working out at the same time and you are depleted of energy, it's not a good thing. So you're gonna end up hurting yourself. The next thing I want to talk about is how easy your schedule can be thrown off. Your schedule can be thrown off, right? You guys know, I've spoke to you guys in the past about habits. Habits are your friend if they're good habits when your routine and your habits get thrown off because of something big like a move or whatever the case might be it could be a little thing that just throws off your whole routine as human beings i think we have a tendency to kind of use that as an excuse to say hey my routine's thrown off so i might as well just get thrown off completely moving is like the worst i hate moving it's like one of the biggest problems in my life <laughs> one of the biggest problems i just can't stand moving what happens when you move? You tend to eat out more, you train less because you're, you're busy moving, you can't train, right? For the most part, unless you have like the handy gym, which I've mentioned to you guys has saved me over the last month because it's allowed me to bodybuild even though I'm not home, even though I'm out being busy, packing and all this stuff, right? So a, a lot of the time, unless you have something like a handy gym, you're not gonna be able to train, you're gonna be uh, have lack of sleep Lack of sleep causes you to want to eat more and eat bad things. You're not going to be like, oh, I'm, I'm really tired. I want to eat a salad. No, you're going to be like, oh, there's a McDonald's. There's this, there's that. You're going to end up, your routine's thrown off. So now you're like, hey, I need something to eat. I'm packing these boxes. It's easy to order pizza. It's easier to order Chinese food. In the past, in my past moves, that was me 100%. I was like, okay, this is an excuse to one, drink more, right? <laughs> so you're, you're throwing back beers because you're moving. It's just, I think, something that a lot of people do. I don't personally drink anymore, but that's another story. So the point is that your eating habits change. It's easy to grab fast food because you're like, hey, this is just easy. And I'm already busy, so fast food makes sense. It's an excuse to go ahead and just eat bad. So you can gain a ton of weight just because your routine gets thrown off by something like a move or whatever else. You're tired, you're not sleeping right, you're making bad decisions because you're not sleeping right, right? When you don't sleep right, your brain does not work properly, so you're not making good decisions. You're not saying, okay, I'm gonna eat my normal food, I'm not gonna track my calories the same, all this stuff. 
So did that happen to me during this move? Not really. And the reason why is because I had enough discipline to realize that, hey, an ex it's not an excuse. This move is not an excuse for you to lose all the hard earned everything that you have accomplished over these months. So I told myself, Joe, you can, you can loosen up a little bit because you have to. I have to train a little bit less. I have to train a little bit uh, less intensely when I do train because I'm already at like a suboptimal level of energy and you know, all this other stuff. I have to go pack boxes. I have to do this, I have to do that. So you gotta give yourself a little bit of leeway, but you don't have to loosen the reins completely, okay? I made sure that I still tracked my calories. I made sure that I still was doing everything that I can when I had the energy to bodybuild and had the time, I did it on the handy gym. I also knew when not to train because that, again, that's very important. You have to know when to give your body a rest. Yesterday, I was running on three hours of sleep. And you guys know, over the months, I've conditioned my mind and my body to want to exercise, to have a desire to exercise. It's in my blood at this point. If I'm not moving, if I'm not doing something, if I'm not accomplishing something, I need to move. My body's telling me, you gotta move, you gotta get exercise. And it's just instinctive at this point. So I had to literally force myself not to move not to do anything because I'm running on three hours of sleep. I had to, I had to, if you're like me, I'm telling you this in, in the chance that you are like me. It's okay to take a break. I had to literally tell myself, Joe, take a break. You have to not walk today. You have to sit down today. You have to do this. You have to do that. You got to give your body time to rest. So that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. It's very easy to have your whole life tossed up in the air, but don't let that be an excuse. Don't let that be an excuse for you not being able to stick to your good habits, stick to your good routine, right? Routine that has got you where you are now, the um, routine that is getting you to where you want to be in the future. Don't let something like a move or whatever the case might be, be the excuse that allows you to just fall off the wagon and now all of a sudden your whole life is up in the air and you're like, oh, Chinese food, pizza, whatever else. All your hard work can be destroyed in, in a very short period of time. Um, gotta love New York. Over this last month of doing what I've been doing and um, having this crazy, you know, um, this crazy move going on and all the crazy circumstances, I've still been able to maintain muscle mass. I've still been able to um, maintain a healthy eating for the most part. Again, you know, loosen the reins a little bit if you have to. Maintain good habits over this crazy period that's been going on. So you don't have to go and just abandon your lifestyle just because something crazy in your life is, is happening. Try to maintain uh, those reins and sleep is the most important thing because sleep is going to cause you to make good or bad decisions. If you're underslept, you're more likely to make bad decisions. You're more likely to abandon the good habits. You're more likely to let the reins go. And that's gonna cause you to just drop everything else. Again, even if your life is crazy, you might be able to get steps in, you might be able to bodybuild once in a while, whenever you can. Um, but if you are underslept, you're not gonna be able to do those things. You're gonna be eating bad, you're gonna be training less, it's just gonna all fall apart and it can fall apart very quickly. So, just wanted to make this video, I hope this helps you guys and I look forward to seeing you guys very soon. Uh, as you guys know, if you saw the last video came out with, finally got the tonal up on the wall. Very, very excited to get back to my tonal, I miss it very much. Uh, very grateful for the Handy Gym, giving me everything it's given me over this period of time, being able to bodybuild on the go. There's nothing like it. Can't wait to get to that Max Pro so I can give it to uh, give it you guys a good review on it. I look forward to talking to you guys soon. So I will catch you guys in the next video. And I hope this was beneficial to you guys. Talk to you soon.